So the next thing is, let's make a start on digging this out and get the bigger back box in there. Okay, so we've, we've isolated the wires, uh, the power's off, taken the switch off, and um, I've just put some connector blocks on there just to get it out of the way. So now, we're gonna try and be as careful as we can with this. We're just gonna try and slowly cut this out. So I'm gonna get a, a sharp knife and just slowly work into it. So we've, we're gonna to have to go a little bit more than the edge. So what I'll do, I'll scrape around there and I'll go in a few mil extra. And what, what's good to do is maybe use a flat edge with something, hold it against it and just keep going in. So let me work that on that at the moment and I'll show you how it looks when it's been scraped out. Okay, so we've got the large bulk of the area removed, as you can see. And then we'll just start trying to loosen it because it's stuck against the wall. I'll just shake it like this. Should bring it away. Oh, there you go, it's popped. Not too bad, not a large amount of mess. So next thing we're gonna get a drill, we're gonna start drilling into that. So let me start preparing that and we'll start drilling. Okay, so we've taken off the back box here and we're gonna replace it. So the existing one was 25 mil and we're gonna replace it with a 47 mil. So quite deep when it goes in. It's just trying to work out a, a good way of doing this. So we're gonna take a little bit more off the edges here and then we're gonna drill in. So we need to take a drill bit and obviously get our box and we'll just put a bit of tape just there to indicate how deep to go. So let me do that in the background. So just to show just there and there and I'll just start drilling into that. Okay, so we've dug out quite a bit now. So I use the Scotch chisel and a hammer to go in even further. So after I've drilled the holes, just at an angle, go in at the Scotch chisel like that and just clean it out and just kept hoovering it just to see it clearly. So let me just check it's the right depth and then we'll work on fitting it back in. Okay, so we've sort of completed digging into the wall. It's about 47 millimeters, um, so the depth of the actual box. Um, I didn't have a grommet to sort of protect the end. I couldn't be bothered to go out and get one, so I've just put some tape, um, some electrical tape, so that should keep it safe from damaging the actual cable here. So let me just feed this in through, just to show. And it just easily just slots into place. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take this out. We're gonna get some bonding plaster, which I've already mixed, which is just here. And we're just gonna spread it around the edges and the back. So when we put the actual box in, we leave it to dry and it will stick rock solid really. You don't normally have to worry too much about the fixings if you're using bonding. It's nice to do it, but no biggie. I'm just worried in case it goes through the end of the wall. So I think I'll be fine with this. The original one was like this as well. Like so, we'll put some at the top as well. And then for the back, we'll actually put it on the back of the case. 
think we'll put a bit more as well. It'll be a bit of a squeeze getting it in, but it should be fine. And then we can just do the edges afterwards. So let me feed the cables in first, back into the box, like so. Make it face this way. Just cover it like so. Move it out a little bit, just to prepare it. Make sure you cover the floor when you're doing this, obviously it will fall to a certain extent. Okay, you can see it being pushed through here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get some wood now, and then bang it in. It flying out. Okay, let me just get my, my spirit level, make sure it's not too much off. So it is okay, it's not too bad, literally there. Let me just push it in a bit more. I think that's fine. I think we managed to get it in. Just check it one more time. Yeah, it's not too bad. What we'll do now, we'll take little bits and we we'll just fill up the gaps like so. We won't fill it completely to the end, we'll just leave a little bit out. Instead of doing plaster or anything like that, we'll just do a bit of filler. And that will give it the nice sort of flush finish around the edges. So hence why we were quite careful of you taking this out. We didn't want it too much damage to repair. You've got to be really careful with these things because once you start doing this, you can literally break up the whole wall. I'll take some of this bonding from inside as well okay we're nearly there a little bit more just using my finger for the last bits here then what we'll do we'll just um wire it back up again but what i'll do i'll strip back the wires a bit more Okay, so next I'll just strip back the wires a little bit so there's a bit more space. Um, so I'll probably take them back to about, about there I think and then I can chop some of the wires off and then I can start fitting this in place. So I'll show it once it's in place next. Okay, so we've rewired the switch on there and we've applied some filler with a spatula so we've just gone for polyfiller on that one and obviously just use that to smooth off the edges like so so what we'll do we'll just let it dry off but for the meantime I can refit the switch that's the main thing and then once it's dry we can just give it maybe a light sand if it needs and then we can just paint around it and we're done. Okay, so I've put the light switch back on and as you can see finishes fairly flush so it's quite good so just a light sanding around the area and then I can just paint and then that's completed. 
So there you go. Hope it's helped anyone thinking of replacing a metal back box. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.